for my twin flame um, channel. Hey, be more. This is TT. TT, be more twin flame. And it's been rough. Oh my God, has it ever been a rough night? It's been a rough couple of nights. So, we're, while working the other night, Saturday night, while I was working, luckily um, I didn't have anybody, a passenger with me. It was just me, but a dirt bike hit my car. Like they were going against traffic. They weren't even following traffic laws or rules. They were going the wrong way on the street and came in, hit, smashed into my car and they cracked up the front of my car and, um, you know, he drove away or whatever. He acted anyway. It was a mess. So, so here I am, the stupid fucking idiot one that has, can't, I mean, I'm not an idiot and I'm not stupid, but it makes you feel that way, right? Nobody likes to feel taken advantage of or like a fool or powerless or weak in any fucking way. And I'm always the one making, feeling weak and dumb. So I am not dumb and I am not weak, even though it may seem like it and people will make me feel like it, but I don't. I am not weak and I am not dumb. So, and I know that they say good people finish last. And that only the good die young. There's, there's a lot against being good. But I'm still doing it. I'm still going to be good. Because my higher power tells me to. My higher power tells me to forgive. My, my higher power tells me to let go. And so I released that boy on the dirt bike for all the damages that he did to me my car I know that he can't fix it and I and I have to just trust the universe and I know my dad would be upset with me my higher power I mean my twin flames probably upset you know they would all handle it differently but they are not me and I have to be me so being with my twin flame is not a fantasy that everything magically disappears and you know flowers and rainbows and unicorns spring up everywhere this is a fight and a battle I am in, in my life. So any illusion that it's supposed to be uh, easy and yummy and good, it's not. Last night was so hard and I spent the night at my twin flames and it was so hard. My body hurts so bad. Um, I have faced a darkness in my head, like with my, I just did. I felt very alone very scared like my life was over it was just very hard while he slept like a baby um, but I'm not mad at him today I'm dealing with my own stuff and so I feel like my higher power you know is is allowing things in my life for my good but it's changing me and it's making me you know stay calm stay open, stay loving towards myself. And it's challenging. Last night, it was hard to be loving towards myself. Like, it's easy to be loving towards yourself when you got a pile of money, when everybody loves you. You know, when it's, but it's not easy to be good to yourself in the, in the, in the you know, in the pits of hell. It's not easy to stay calm. It's not easy to have faith and trust. So, yeah, it's a battle. And last night was really rough, even though I was with my twin flame. He's not a superhero. He doesn't fix everything. So, he just molds me into what my higher power wants me to be and to be authentically me. So, I want to smash any illusions, any fantasies that you grew up with of what the relationship is supposed to be like. So, he has a very good relationship with his two daughters. He has young daughters and he adores them and he's an amazing dad. Well, I 
am a woman, but I don't have a relationship with my dad, and I never did. So all those father-daughter things that he does with his daughters, it's sometimes very hard to hear because I never had that. But I would never take from his daughters or be jealous or be insecure about Stephen. I am so glad that he is the way he is. I support that. I applaud that. I encourage that. I want him to be a good dad to his daughters. I want them to have what I never had. So, I think that's a lot of growth. And I'm going to let go of my fantasy that I will ever have that in my life. I had a lot of fantasies in my life that I was going to have a man that was going to treat me like a princess I was going to go to, you know, I was going to have all these things that I never had. And I'm just going to let go of that. Because that keeps me unhappy. That keeps me empty. So I don't want those in my life anymore. Believing that I'm going to have something that I don't have. I'm going to look at what I have. And I'm going to cry. And I'm going to feel I'm going to be me, even if it's negative, even if it's scared, even if it's confused, even if it looks weak. So I think that that's a big deal is to empower me to be me. So that's what's happening. My hands hurt. Everything hurts. It could be my autoimmune disease. I have a thyroid condition. So my body's really stiff. I don't know why. It just... But I guess it's called episodes or something. I don't know what's going on. But my whole body fucking is stiff and hurts. So, um... You never know what's going to happen in life. And, um... But you can't be, you know, ashamed of yourself. So that's something I'm not going to be anymore. I'm not a victim, and I'm not ashamed, and I'm getting stronger. So, that's what's going on in my Twin Flame journey. So, thanks for being here. This is a really vulnerable video for me, you know. um, Putting this on my Twin Flame, but um, it's not all sunshine and roses. But it's about self-love and self-care and being good to yourself. And it's about your relationship with with your higher power. And that's scary because that's that's individual. And you have to trust that what you hear and what you feel. And there's nobody there to, to validate that. And that's okay. Because you can trust in yourself. And you can trust your own relationship with higher power.